How's it going guys, Steven here. I'm back with another video for you. And today I wanna to talk to you about what this granola bar, specifically protein bar, taught me about business and how I implemented it into my own marketing agency. And so um, before I get into this, just wanna say, my, again, my name is Steven. I operate flexwebdesign.ca here in Vancouver, BC. And we work with uh, service-based businesses across Canada to help them grow, hire on more skilled team members, um, get more customers, better, higher paying customers and grow their business overall, reach their goals, all that amazing stuff. Now, with that being said, I'll get right back into the video. If you watch any of my other videos as well, you'll probably see that the quality of this video is a little bit better. And that is because I am using my iPhone instead of my MacBook. So we're moving up guys. You're moving up. Now, that being said, getting into the video, I'm going to talk to you about what this protein bar taught me about business, how I implemented it into my own business and how it's growing. Now I did a video kind of similar to this uh, a couple of weeks ago about what the office taught me about business. Uh, you guys seem to like that video. I got uh, quite a lot of views actually compared to my other videos. Uh, and so maybe this, this will kind of be a trend or like a specific type of video that I do going forward if it gets the same amount of engagement. Uh, but that being said, getting to the video, um, this is a protein bar, uh, just typical like cliff builders, protein bar, 20 grams of protein. Not a ton of protein compared to other protein bars, but I'm going to tell you why I like it and what I learned from this. So uh, with myself, <clears throat> you know, the, the amount of protein that's in my food and, and my diet overall, it's very much uh, functionality over form, right? I, I don't really care too much about the type of food or how it tastes. It's more just about getting in my protein because I'm very busy. I go to the gym, right? Uh, I Protein and my diet is very important. But it's just more about functionality because I'm just so busy, right? I don't really, I don't really care about how it tastes too much. And so my, my diet's a lot of like protein shakes, protein bars, yogurt, uh, just straight up meat on its own. Not really much you can you can see, right? It's just about getting it in on, in a timely manner, right? And so with these protein bars, um, sometimes what I'll do before I go to the gym is like go to the grocery or a gas station and grab like a pre-workout drink or whatever and like a protein bar, okay? And so these protein bars, I like them a lot because they're at most convenience stores. So I know it's reliable and it shows me on the label very obviously how much protein is in it. So I've been using or eating these for a long time. And uh, there's other protein bars, like I said, that taste a lot better. These are definitely not the best tasting by any means. Um, there's ones that have more protein in them, but I know that with these ones reliably, consistently, every gas station I go to, they're going to be there and I'm going to be able to get it. And I know exactly how much protein I'm getting in. Again, it's not the best tasting. It's not the most uh, protein dense protein bars, but it tells me exactly how much protein is on them. And so what did I learn from this and implement into my own, or I should say, and am implementing into my own business? Well, with, you know, a marketing agency or with any service based business, your fulfillment on your customer services is going to look a lot different to you than to your customers. And I should say your customer results look different to you than to your customers, right? And so with myself, with my own marketing agency, you know, just like this protein bar here, we're not the, the best agency. We don't get our customers the best results in the world. I, I think, you know, that, that's a goal one day. Um, but what I want to pride myself on being the best at is having consistent services across the board for each customer. And just like the protein bar, showing our customers the results that we're getting for them, right? Like it says on, on the label here, exactly how much protein is in the protein bar. I want to show my customers on a consistent basis, the type of results that we're getting for them, right? Which is what we're doing. And so, like I said, kind of going back to the point before that we're not the best marketing agency in the world, right? Um, and, and so, you know, a lot of time to you as a service based business and, and to a business owner, you might think to, you're probably a lot harder on yourself than your customers are on you, right? You, you perform your services and you might get your customers great results, but you compare yourself to other businesses. And because of that, you're a little bit more hesitant to show your customers uh, the great results that you're getting for them. And which in turn actually decreases the experience that your customer has with your business. And, and so it diminishes it, right? And you don't want to, you don't, you don't want to take that away from your customers. And so what I've been working on is, um, consistently and, and doing a better job at showing your customers the results that we're getting for them, right? And systematizing our operations. So it's consistent across the board for each customer, right? So this customer is not getting some wildly different type of service than this customer, right? And so not that it's fully systematized that we're doing exactly the same thing with each customer. It's a, it, there's a little slight differences, 
But at the end of the day, we're showing our customers the results that we're getting for them, right? I might not rank my customers' websites for the most keywords compared to this marketing agency, but I still want to show customers that I am ranking them for new keywords and their customer or their websites are getting more impressions than before. That's what people want to see. People want to see that their investment is going somewhere and that it's getting them results. And so as yourself, as a service-based business, what you could take out of this message is, like I said before, your fulfillment on the service, your results that you're getting for customers to you, it might just look like, oh, I'm doing my job right. But to them, it's actually telling them and reinforcing their buying decision with you. And so you want to show them the results, right? Because like I said to you, it's just, okay, what I'm doing is working, right? I'm, I'm just doing a good job. My, my job is being done correctly. That's all it is to you. But to your customers, it's reinforcing the fact that their investment is going somewhere and it is working for them. And so whatever your, um, your business is, whatever services you perform for your customers, show them the results, right? Track what, where they were before, however you can do that, right? Even if you're an HVAC contractor, right? Show them where they were before that um, their whatever system they had installed before is not working and it's, it's install the new system and tell them to monitor the results afterwards, see how it's working for them and tell them like, hey, like, look, I, I we installed this for you and it's clearly working, right? Um, it's as li- it's it seems like a small thing, right? Not not a big thing, but your customers, it is a huge thing. So even just reminding them, right, that where they were before is completely different than where they are now is huge because that, that's what happens a lot of time, right? People forget they they're at a place before where they're experiencing pain. You come in, you fix the pain for them but they quickly forget um, because they're they're up to baseline now again, right? And so you want to remind them, hey, we, we, we performed this service for you and it's working fantastically, right? Um, so some things to think about and definitely some things that you can apply in whatever business you operate. Um, definitely, you know, again, just like this protein bar, you might not be the best and I can guarantee you, you're probably not the best service operator in the world for whatever trade or industry you're in. But what you can do is create the best customer experience for your customers so that they stay on with you um, because I would even go as far as to say the experience you have and create with your customers is more important than the results that you actually get for them. Okay. Uh, so I hope you guys got some value from this video because I know I definitely learned a valuable lesson with this protein bar. Okay. Um, and so if you like the video, there's a lot more where that came from. Check out the channel. Uh, if you want to learn more about what we do, you can check out the link in the description. It's just flexwebdesign.ca. Um, check out the video, check out some of our client results. And uh, book a call with us and apply to work with us if that's something you're interested in. Now, again, I hope you guys got some value and enjoy this video and I'll catch you in the next one.